day 8 fluid service requirements this is the eighth topic in the awareness course on asme 31.3 we have already discussed about introduction material requirements pressure design piping loads and stresses welding and joining flanges and bolting piping flexibility and supports here we are going to cover these three sub topics categorization of fluid services specific requirement for different fluid categories impact of fluid service on material selection and design as usual we'll start with safety talk and once we get the explanation of these three sub topics we'll have a quiz with 20 mcq questions there where we'll have correct answers and their explanations also and in the end we'll see what we are going to cover in next uh, uh, topic so let's welcome peter who will be explaining uh, these three sub topics let's begin with safety talk first hello everyone today's safety talk is about the safe handling of compressed gas cylinders to ensure your safety and the safety of others proper storage store compressed gas cylinders in a well ventilated and secure area away from heat sources or direct sunlight this prevents them from getting overheated being overheated use the right equipment always use the proper equipment and tools to move lift and secure cylinders avoid dragging or dropping them check for damage before using a cylinder check for any signs of damage corrosion or leaks if you report them immediately and do not use the cylinder upright position keep cylinders upright at all times unless they are designed to be used horizontally This helps prevent accidents and leaks. Valve caps when a cylinder is not in use, make sure to keep the valve cap securely in place. This provides an extra layer of protection against leaks. Follow guidelines, different gases have specific handling requirements. Always follow the guidelines for each gas type and never mix gases as it can be extremely dangerous. training and preparedness so that all employees are properly trained in the safe handling of compressed gas cylinders and know the emergency procedures in case of accidents remember compressed gas cylinders can be hazardous if mishandled by following these safety measures we can prevent accidents and maintain a safe working environment hello there and welcome back to our 30 day beginner course on asme b31.3 Today we're delving into an important topic categorization of fluid services. Fluid services are categorized based on their properties and potential effects on the piping system. Let's explore the key points. Fluid classification, different fluids are classified into categories to help design and operate piping systems safely. Category M. This category includes highly hazardous fluids that can cause major harm or damage. Extra precautions are taken when handling and transporting these fluids. Category D. Flammable fluids fall under this category. These substances can ignite easily and need careful consideration to prevent fire hazards. Category C. Non-flammable and non-toxic fluids are placed in this category. they pose minimal risk to the piping system and the environment category b this category includes other non-flammable fluids that might not fit in category c these fluids have low risk factors category a safe fluids with no significant risks are categorized here these fluids are considered relatively harmless to the piping system Understanding the categorization of fluid services is essential to ensure that the right precautions are taken during the design, construction, and operation of piping systems. That wraps up today's today's discussion. In our next topic, we'll dive into the specific requirements for different fluid categories. So, stay tuned and keep expanding your knowledge. Hello and welcome back to our 30-day beginner course on ASME B31.3. Today, we're going to dive into a crucial topic, specific requirements for different fluid categories. 
Different fluid categories have specific requirements when it comes to material selection and design. Let's explore these requirements. Category M, highly hazardous fluids demand rigorous material selection and extensive testing. Materials must withstand harsh conditions and potential hazards. Category D, flammable fluids require fire-resistant materials to prevent ignition. Leak prevention is crucial to avoid any fire-related incidents. Category C, non-flammable and non-toxic fluids need consideration for corrosion resistance and toxicity. Materials must be compatible with the fluid's properties. Category B, other non-flammable fluids have general material compatibility requirements. Materials must be able to handle the fluid's characteristics without degradation. Category A, safe fluids have basic material considerations. While not as demanding as other categories, materials still need to be suitable for the fluid's environment. Understanding the specific requirements for different fluid categories is essential for ensuring the safety, reliability, and longevity of the piping system. That's a wrap for today's session. In our next topic, we'll discuss the impact of fluid service on material selection and design. So, stay tuned and keep expanding your knowledge. Hello there, and welcome back to our 30-day beginner course on ASME B31.3. Today, we're going to delve into a topic that has a significant impact on piping system design, impact of fluid service on material selection and design. The fluid being transported through a piping system can have a profound effect on the materials used and the overall design. Let's explore the key points. Fluid compatibility, it's essential to select materials that are compatible with the fluid being transported. This prevents material deterioration, leaks, and other potential issues. Corrosion resistance. Depending on the fluid's properties, corrosion can be a major concern. Choosing corrosion-resistant materials helps maintain the integrity of the piping system. Temperature and pressure. The temperature and pressure of the fluid can influence material selection. Materials must be able to withstand these conditions without failure. Fluid properties, consider the fluid's characteristics, such as acidity, toxicity, and potential for fouling. These properties can impact material selection and design. Material testing, rigorous testing ensures that selected materials meet the required standards and can handle the fluid service effectively. The impact of fluid service on material selection and design cannot be underestimated. It plays a crucial role in ensuring the safety, reliability, and longevity of the piping system. That's all for today's session. In our next topic, we'll explore non-destructive examination methods. So, stay tuned and keep expanding your knowledge.
thanks peter for a detailed explanation on these three subtopics on fluid service requirements so by this we have completed the day 8 content the safety talk the subtopics then mcq quiz and now let's talk about the day 9 topic and subtopics now we'll cover in day 9 uh, we'll cover the examination and uh, testing the format will remain same safety talk and these three subtopics we'll discuss in detail then we'll have a quiz of 20 mcqs in the end so thanks peter for detailed explanation and thank you all for watching see you in the next part